We have a story for you that is a bit unusual in that it involves Shell Point residents, employees, and the surrounding community. And it happens to involve me personally. I've enjoyed folk music and singer-songwriters all of my life. It's usually one or two people playing an acoustic guitar and telling stories through tunes in an earthy sort of way. Day by day it's one more baby step down this long road that I roam. In various towns where we have lived, my wife and I have searched in vain to find ways to enjoy this kind of music live. But about five years ago, my neighbor, Klaus, told us about house concerts that were going on in the homes of two ladies here in Fort Myers, Alice and Trish, and of a new organization that was being formed called the Americana Community Music Association. We checked it out and were delighted with what we found. I tell you what we need to do. Remember that above cloud, the sky is always blue. House concerts are the best hobby I've ever had. Um, it's a way to bring music and friends into your life and in a small venue have the best music that you could possibly hear. Another neighbor of mine, Roy Schneider, who does music full time with his wife Kim, provided the inspiration for the new local association. Out of house concerts, when I first started doing house concerts, Roy Schneider was my very first house concert musician. Um, his friends and family came, and from that beginning, the ACMA was born. Trish said, why don't we do this in a public venue? And we talked about it and got some people together, and that's how the ACMA came about. We started the ACMA to expand the house concert more or less into more of a community thing with the house concerts is very private and intimate and and small you can't get as many people interested in it as you can in a public venue and so it kind of was born from that so it was a, a love of music a love of friends a love of fellowship and we have house concerts and we have the ACMA well, when the ACMA started, we were one of the first shows there, and it was just, it was so great to have a place, a public venue where people come, and their main reason for coming there is to hear music, you know, that, that they're not there uh, to drink and eat and socialize, and there happens to be a musician, you know, that, that's the wonderful thing. We really appreciate this. Uh, it's, it is so nice to have a place to come where people actually sit and listen. This is all about the music. That's like their motto. So, and, and it's true. It's 100 percent true. So that makes it an extra joy. And as a singer-songwriter, you really appreciate having someone listening to the, the hard work you put in to, to make some type of statement. And, and it's and it's a real joy to perform in front of a, an attentive audience. It's, it's a pleasure. It's a place that's dedicated to the preservation and inspiration and, and advancement of original music. Over the last five years, this local grassroots organization has been growing steadily and has sponsored an amazing number of concerts. The Americana Community Music Association is a not-for-profit, volunteer-based organization, and we're committed to supporting original independent music and musicians and we want to expand the community appreciation of Americana folk and roots music. But one of the main purposes of our listening room, which is where you are tonight, is to provide Southwest Floridians access to high quality and original performers of Americana music. And you will get that tonight, I guarantee it. One of the, um, we host here anywhere from two to four concerts a month. And we, both, we host both touring and homegrown musicians. And homegrown are our local musicians who are semi-professional. They may have another job, but they may also make money at uh, writing songs, and there's some very good local musicians out there. I hail your presence again. It, it, it is incredible because uh, it matches an audience up with musicians, creative musicians, 
and it produces uh, an artistic environment that you just don't normally get. We retired here like a year and a half ago and we had no idea what we were going to find. What a gift. It's really a great thing and we really enjoy it a lot. It is uh, abso uh, absolutely a joy to experience and we come every week uh, whenever we can. This is our first time and we are really enjoying it. We used to live in North Georgia and that's this music was all that was up there basically and uh, so it's, it's made me homesick. I thought it was great. I really enjoyed it. Well, we had no idea a music venue like this even existed and uh, we're glad to find out. Thank the Bartlett's for bringing us. I think uh, the word needs to get out. Not enough people know about this type of thing. Bill and I were talking in the library one day about this kind of thing and he said, well, you all ought to come see this. And here we are and we're enjoying it. <laughs> I'm sure people at Shell Point, where we live, would, uh, would love it if they just knew about it. So uh, maybe this will help get the word out. I think they'll enjoy it. I'm starting to understand it more after talking to the people. Evidently, the, even the real professional musicians come in here and really devote their time to this at a low fee just because they too want to promote this type of music. Give out the mansions, ancient floorboard sack. Actually, I think uh, probably most of them wouldn't know me from Adam, and uh, and yet they said and they listened, and that is my favorite audience. Honest to God, my favorite audience. I, I, I really love it when people buy my records and come back to see me and stuff. But what I especially love is people who've never seen me and like me anyway. You know, that's like the best thing there is. There are a few music venues where this is possible, uh, and it's like going to church. You can hear a pin drop until the song is over and then it just erupts. Th that is uh, a wonderful experience. Uh, the only thing I wanted to add was that the audience, the ACMA membership, is made up of musicians who think of themselves up there themselves. So they're not going to make lewd noises or anything like that because they're projecting a lot, I think. A lot of us are thinking of what we'd be doing up there if we had our guitar with us. If we started playing our guitars again. I'm not supposed to have said that, so... <laughs> There's great artists, and we love seeing the local people who um, open up for the traveling acts. So we always have a great night here, and uh, we're members. I, I think that is uh, wonderful and it also uh, allows people to get up on stage who thought they never could and, uh, and even if they never carry it further than that, uh, it allows people to have that experience uh, without just dreaming about it. It's a true community that has developed. Shell Point employee Bruce Gallant is another who has found a place for his music at the ACMA. I've been a uh, songwriter for a long, long time, and uh, coming from New Hampshire, there wasn't a lot of opportunities for the kind of music we play. Coming down here to Fort Myers, happened to be looking through the newspaper one day, and I saw a little ad that said, sing a songwriter circle every Sunday at the All Faiths Unitarian Church on McGregor. All were welcome, all levels were welcome, so I decided to go one day and it was the best decision I made as, as a songwriter to, to, to do this because I've met all kinds of people. I, I ended up finding out it, it was uh, sponsored by a group called the ACMA because through that this organization I've met many people, found many opportunities to uh, play out. They have uh, schedules for open mics, they have uh, all kinds of shows, concerts and stuff. And what's interesting, what's really nice about their concerts is they bring artists from around the country in 
folk music artists and they use local people for the opening act. So myself and people like me, who would normally not have such an opportunity, get to open for these other acts and that, that's, that's a really a, a really big plus. It's a really nice thing. She takes me out to dinner. She buys me fancy clothes. I kiss her in the morning. I play mandolin and same thing these concerts we both get to play in front of people who actually enjoy the music which is nice instead of going to a bar where maybe not everyone's paying attention um, yeah we just met a lot of a lot of new people and everybody seems to have the same interests and our group is just getting bigger and bigger and you don't even have to play an instrument or sing or anything it's just it's just an enjoyable time and once a month we do go play at the second floor at the pavilion if anybody ever cares to stop by, they can check in the schedule at the uh, activities for the second floor and, and stop by and give us a listen. It would be nice. It's a really enjoyable time. The people there really, really enjoy it. We play songs that they can sing along, and it's, uh, it's really a good time. The ACMA has become the center of a thriving music subculture in Fort Myers. Besides the many concerts at the listening room, ACMA members can now be found playing all over town almost every night of the week. Several are hosting weekly open mic nights at various venues. The local press has begun giving regular coverage to ACMA events. And it just it gets bigger and better each time. So please help us spread the word, bring friends, tell your friends, like us on Facebook, believe it or not, in this day and age that counts. And you can visit our website to find out a whole lot more about us. It is www.americanacma.org. Uh, it's just a great bunch of folks, and I'm just I'm very happy that I was doing what I do and inspired people to, you know, inspired people that much that they wanted to create a place that they could uh, have live music, original music from real artists on a regular basis. The ACMA is a wonderful asset to everyone in this area who enjoys folk music. If you happen to be someone who does, you have got to come out to a concert and check out the Americana Community Music Association. Right here in Fort Myers. Wow. How cool is that? <laughs> Open up your Your bones and let your soul feel the light of the sky.